creating an environment that supports interactive and active learning not only brings out the individual capabilities of students, but also avails teachers an opportunity to be dynamic and adapt online tools for efficiency. Today, technology is reshaping the way education is perceived and innovative thinkers keep coming up with fresh solutions to bring a change from the old style of teaching. And one example is the adoption of interactive modular classrooms. Viewing this containerized structure from the exterior will give you no inkling what awaits inside, but a closer look changes that impression. The one-story building is a modular interactive school built using standardized reusable freight compartments, known as containers, a deviation from the brick-and-mortar school buildings. Since the pandemic hit in 2020, a number of learning institutions transitioned online, leveraging educational technology to adapt to the new reality. Plus one Y plus six Y plus Z. Okay, he said three A plus two A. That would be what? Five A. That is five A. Five A plus six six B. Is it correct? Yes. But providing an environment that supports the technology is key, hence learning spaces like this. Interactivity is an important part of this setup, and low-cost and easy-to-use tablets are available to encourage the students access the notes the teacher is using. For example, a science teacher that wants to teach any topic in the science uh, world, you have a 3D platform that the teacher can actually use for the purpose of demonstration. So take, for example, a teacher that wants to teach a uh, circulatory system where the positioning of the heart is, you have a 3D that is very interactive that the teacher can actually use. So here is me interacting with the content right now. Go ahead and look at the structure of the heart with the labeling part. So I may decided to give my student the opportunity for them to label it themselves. I have this solution that I can actually use. We also have teacher, teachers 3D community platform where teachers have the opportunity to create interactive lessons. It's actually embedded in the uh, in the solution. These students from Vetlin Junior Grammar School in Lagos are the first set to experience this pioneer innovation in the state. My feeling about this school is that it enhances the children's learning. If, if they don't know something, they can look it up in the Google because we have our tabs with us, our teachers with the smart boards, the interactive boards. They can even give an example with looking it up in the Google with a picture, like th this is so amazing. Even if the teacher is not even in the classroom, they can search, explore the world, like what they don't understand in the classrooms, they can look it up in the Google, on the internet. It's also a privilege, like an encouragement to the less privileged parents that don't have the ability to send their children to private school. I just, I'm so excited. I have the compact, if I need to do a simple construction like this, I can construct with my compass. Digital literacy is mandatory for the teachers as well to enhance visual learning, and they make use of interactive touch screens instead of boards. What both parties need is to have their tablets and internet connection and learning can take place anywhere. Power supply, which is usually a major issue in the country, is addressed as the building has its own dedicated energy source that's off the grid. We're sitting right here in a modular school. In here, 52 containers, a 12 classroom block. And why? Why modular? We needed an envelope to warehouse our technology. 
It's not as if we couldn't have sat in a brick and mortar building. That's fine. But the reality, the, but the, the concept behind it, the mindset behind it was what's new? What are we going to do differently? What's rugged enough that can take this African environment that we're in and, you know, the, sun, the sunshine, the, 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 the adverse weather effect that we have here? How do we make, how do we have sustainable buildings? How do we reuse what we already have that's littered all over the place, reuse it and make it a lot more, you know, useful rather than it just, you know, being a mess all over the place. And that's why the modular infrastructure is fantastic. So they are just absolutely fantastic for learning spaces. And then when you have that idea that the kids will run into them, oh yeah, protection, safety, they're built from a sustainability perspective, it ticks the right box. 50 year lifespan, you know, and then you update. When there's rust, you know, you can go back and then also maintaining them. All you do is just wipe, you know, just wipe. So it saves you having to paint your schools all the time, you know, just have a clean cloth, clean up, and you're good to go again. So uh, modular buildings end up just being the right kind of, you know, kind of environment, we thought, for this unique projects that we want to roll out, you know, uh, uh, within the technology space. If the benefits from this scheme are to be spread and used widely, more of these sorts of facilities will definitely be needed. Expectations are high that this indeed will be the case.